Killing the Business, Yay. episode 11, Top Gun, Forever Young. We're back. Yes, and I know, I know that the, the last episode was a bit of a, bit of a, oof. Most viewed, most viewed, brother. So, <laughs> I thought to start it off on a positive note, oh, I brought <laughs> cupcakes. Right. Oh, it was not Dr. Chocolate. Pepper this no, time. No, no, wait, wait, hold on. Oh. I did also bring <laughs> two Dr. Peppers. <laughs> the hell, do you got a mini fridge over there? Well, oh yeah, and I forgot, because you you don't drink straight out of cans. Hold on, I'm glad I think I know. put it in here somewhere. <laughs> here you go. <laughs> you got to be kidding me. What? All right. So first of all, I appreciate the cupcakes, but I don't, I don't eat chocolate. Are you fucking shitting me? No, I don't like chocolate cake. I don't like chocolate <laughs> You're cake. You're fucking I don't me like right chocolate now. ice cream. That was five ninety nine, dog. <laughs> One's missing. They should, you should have got your money. Okay. Now. Well, I may or may not have eaten one before I got here. Yeah, I don't like chocolate. <laughs> I don't like chocolate cake, chocolate ice cream, chocolate milk. I like like chocolate candy bars, but like. All right, well, when Dean gets here, yeah, he's going to eat sure these Dean. with me. I'm sure Dean. Well, here's your straw also. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I'm glad I got yes. this. Anyway, <laughs> so uh, let's get to what everybody wants to talk about, and that is what happened in our last episode. So from what you guys saw is you saw us do a normal episode. You yep, know, and completely fine. We ended it. And then what you just saw was us just come right back. So yep. what happened in between that time? So we, how much time passed? Was it five minutes? Was it five seconds? Was it five days? You don't know. Well, I'm going to answer that, or we're going to answer that. So we ended this podcast. Mm -hmm. We went into the living room, which is approximately 15 feet away. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then, uh, you know, Top Gun decided to go off. I think we should have gave it to Alex. We are, ah! Okay, hold on. No, no. Because fucking Marcus Porter came to the goddamn door. Marcus Porter was here. And he brought it up, and he was like, oh, well, I think you should have brought it up. And I was like, well, I don't know. And then then I started talking about it. And you said, oh, uh, well, uh, I think he's still friends with someone. Someone. And Someone. Uh, I said, oh, well, let's call that person. Yeah. So we called that person. We called them. We we, we let them know what we were going to do, and yep. they, they they did not say not to. Yeah, they so, uh, definitely did not tell us not so to. So in approximately five minutes, yep. we decided to get cut the camera back on. And we came back to the studio, and you saw what you saw. Yeah. <laughs> and um, I also want to bring something up about... A couple oh. episodes ago when I said, oh, God. kayfabe your own shit. That might have been last episode. I think that was last episode. Okay, well, what I was talking about was, uh, hey, Jeremiah, how you doing? So, a while ago, Jeremiah oh. told me. Oh, so that's how you're going to segue into that. Well, no, I'm not even segueing into anything. But Jeremiah told me that he had a big surprise coming to the FU Battle Rumble a long time ago. I was in a car ride to AAW with Critical Content. And I was like, oh, okay. And I said it out loud. And Kyler was like, Alex Weir. So, like, I told Jeremiah, Alex Weir. And he's like, oh, my God. How did y'all know? And like, we're like, oh, we got it right. He's like, don't tell anybody. Make sure you don't tell anybody. Yeah. And Kyler's like, yeah, he's telling us not to tell anybody, but he's probably told, like, ten people. So I told Jeremiah that. He's like, no, I literally only told you. Only you, dog, because I had to tell somebody. And then days and weeks later, I just keep getting all these people come up to me saying, Alex Weir's coming back at FU. So Jeremiah, learned to kayfabe your own shit. In case you didn't know that was about you last time. Say, I fucking pretty much said like everything out there that what, I said on camera. Well, he didn't come to FU. Well, yeah. I still showed up. So what happened? Why didn't he come? <laughs> well, I I so may or may not have heard. Did he reach out to you? Uh, after the podcast, yes, yes, he did. Oh, yes, and uh, you know, a couple other people reached out to me. One of them having been, uh, I guess, formerly friends with him. So a lot of people, apparently. Yeah, and, uh, <laughs> Jesus, okay, I wasn't saying that, but yeah, and apparently he, he may or may not have had a similar experience. I don't know which one is which. So, oh, brother, you, oh, <laughs> okay. God, keep, keep, fucking, keep talking. All right, but yeah, so he reached out to me, he gave me an apology, it sounded genuine, 
Oh, like, Alex? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, nah, he, he was like, hey, I'm sorry if I said anything that came across, sort of blah, 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 blah. And I was like, all right, like, like whatever. And then that other person reached out to me. Mm-hmm. Or, I'm sorry, nah, I sent them a DM. And then they started talking to me about it. Can we it. not say this person's name? Who We're not going to say this person's name. I don't name. know That's why is. I'm saying this person. I don't know person. who it is. So, I'm lost. Good. So literally, like, <clears throat> me and this dude go back and forth, and it was like the similar experience, except there was one thing that changed, and I'm not going to say what that thing is, but someone did something, and it was very bad. This is a confusing, confusing story. I don't know how much I can talk about and how much <laughs> I can't. Like, I have no idea story. what I can disclose here. Because I'm not going to, I'm not trying to fuck shit up for myself. All right, well, anyway, mm-hmm. moving on from that moving one. On. From a story that I was interested in to a story that I wasn't interested in. But then the story took a huge, huge turn that I was not expecting. Oh, God. So, there was... A title saga that's been going on for episodes and episodes and episodes of the number two FU Trios Championship, which at this point, I really wish that there was a like a camera, like a documentary that went on with this title I fucking to know where it was. I, I don't give a fuck. All I know is that I have it now. Well, okay. So at FU, all I know is... There was about to be your triple threat match, which was right after my match. And the referee of my match, who was Greg, came up to me after my match as I was taking a picture and said, hey, you're going to want to watch the first three minutes of this t- of this match. And I'm like, why? Like, is he saying it because Max is... I was, I was thinking he was saying it. So Max, Ryan, and KJ are all my... <laughs> Or my friends, my tag partners. I was thinking, like, are they? About, it's gonna be crazy. They're gonna like do a lot of stuff that I should watch. He's like, let's just say you're about to find out where the title was. Oh, that. Fuck. So, oh, that. Fuck. I missed the entrances, and me and Dean. I told Dean, bro, we gotta go out. I told Dean, we gotta go out and watch this. So we went out. Match was already going on, and I'm watching. He said, I said, Greg said we gotta watch the first three minutes. So let's watch. And I'm watching. I'm watching. I'm watching. And then Greg comes up behind us and says. KJ came out with it. And I was like, what? And he's like, yeah, KJ entered with it. And I'm like, what? So it's over there. I'm like, Dean, go get it. So we went to go get it. And Johnny Delicious stands in front of us. And like he, he's like walking. Every time we tried to go one way, he would get in front. So I went this way. And I say, Dean, go, 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 go. Oh, that's what the fuck that was. Because you can hear that on camera. Really? Yeah, Heather was recording for me. And all, like, randomly, after, right before fucking we go into the spot for the shooting star press, on camera, all you hear is you go, Dean, go, go, go. And fucking, okay. And Dean books it. Yeah. <laughs> fucking, okay, so that's how I know that that story was true. I don't know. I haven't seen the match yet on camera. So I, I'm interested to hear that. But anyway, I go this way. Johnny goes this way. I say, Dean, go. Dean, as you said, ran to the commentary table to get it. And somehow. And I had to sit in that goddamn sleeper for so long. Uh, somehow, like, Dean didn't get it. And, like, Greg had him up. And, like, he was getting thrown out like he was a fucking fan. I'm like, what the hell is going on? Why is he being thrown out by this referee? Yeah, no like, paper. <laughs> by the way, hey, guys who are in that situation that aren't named Dean. No one ever bothered to explain what that was during the match, so thank you guys for, you know, telling me what happened. No one knew that that was happening. No one knew. No one even, I didn't like, it didn't register to me that Dean just ran out until like literally a day later. So I'm watching, and then like as he gets thrown out and he's yelling, I'm like, God damn, he's getting thrown out like he's a fan. We are not looking good right now. So I just walked over casually. I got on commentary, and I was like, I'm gonna commentate this match. It's fine. Did you put me over, brother? Well, I wanted to get the title. That was my, my, my goal was to get you and I mean, Dean's title. You could have did that and put me over at the same time, just saying. <sighs> but I couldn't, so... I couldn't, get, I couldn't get the title. Long oh, story okay, short, cool. I could not get the title. But after your match, you won. I gave you my title to celebrate. Yes, and I thought it was mine, and I... Dude, you thought it was yours? I, 
I was fucking so fired up. I was about to throw that damn title at Cody. <laughs> like, I was so fucking... But, okay, can you please explain to me what happened? KJ came out with the title? Yeah, so, Kate, like, I make my entrance. I have no belt. Whatever, you know. I do... This wasn't disgusting in the back? No, this wasn't disgusting okay. at all. I had no clue this was happening. Okay. So I do my little shitty pose in the ring, and then I start sitting like fucking Adam Wick does in the corner, because, you know, I like to steal things. They can't see your legs. It's fine. Oh, okay. <laughs> and fucking... So Ryan, Ryan's already out there, KJ's music hits, I'm looking off in the crowd, and I'm like, I look out, he gets a pretty decent pop, and I'm like, alright, cool, and he still has his hands behind his back at this point. And then, like, I'm looking over at Cody, and I'm looking over at them, and I see them pop, and I'm looking over at the crowd, and they're popping, and then I look back, and we fucking lock eyes, and I see that that fucker has my belt. And it fucking, <laughs> like... I had to fucking squint and, like, fucking go all the way up to, like, actually see it. That's funny. Like, it just didn't... There's a picture of you looking very upset. (laughs) Yeah, well, fucking, like, part of me was just relieved. I was like, all right, cool, I just didn't leave it at fucking Metro Pro. Like, I was so scared that I was like, oh, maybe I just left that bitch and it's gone forever. So did he get in the ring with it? Uh, yeah, he got in the ring with it and... My lazy ass wasn't getting up. I had just sat down. Like, that's, I'm not fucking funny. getting up. That's funny. So, apparently what he said was, and I don't know, maybe we should watch that video back, but apparently, like, when y'all beat up Cody or whatever, apparently Dean gave it to him. Dean gave it, not you. Okay, so it wasn't me. I'm in the clear. Or maybe hey. it was you. He told me one of y'all. Shut the fuck up. I don't remember. You shut the fuck up. I think it was Dean, though. I think it was, he said That's Dean. That's right. Yep. I think he said Dean. I think he also said Dean, too. Gave him the t- just gave, like, here. Sorry, Dean. It just, just handed it to him, and he's like, okay, the fuck? It, that's how, but I find it amazing. And your bitch ass didn't think to give it back when I we were both it, there? I find it amazing oh, that God, I didn't dude. know that KJ had it all this time. Yeah, how the fuck did you not know? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I mean, I, I, like, what? I have no, and apparently, like, he, Ryan knew and Kyler, and I did it. Hats off to them. Dude, right? you can see Hats on camera when our eyes lock. You don't see my reaction, but you see KJ's fucking stupid ass white teeth <laughs> and his fucking smile. Fuck that fucker. All right. Love All you right. Know. Well, we've, we've, we've talked about that. Match that match was good, too. Yeah. Like, I'm. I'm sorry, Cody, because you don't realize how fucking close you were to getting beamed with that title. I was fired the fuck up. All right, next topic. <laughs> oh, yeah, fucking... Speaking of fired the fuck up, uh, somebody from Proving Ground almost got fired. <laughs> so last episode, we did say that someone was talking crap about Proving Ground. Well, we found out who it was, or at least I did. Yeah, you were, I woke up late and I got to the show late. So, Proving Ground happened. Mm-hmm. We were there. I was there. He wasn't. And, uh, I was there when the show started. Let's just say there was a meeting. There was a pre-show meeting between the talent and the promoter of that show. And we found out who the person was who was talking crap. And it was very intense. And some may call it the most uncomfortable Meeting in the history of all of Michigan, in all of wrestling. From our undercover source. Yeah, multiple, multiple people, including me. <laughs> it was very tense. But I will say, when a promoter was talking to all the rookies, because like he didn't say who it was. He wanted the person to step up and say it. So we all stood up, all the rookies stood up, and he went off. And then he said, so who was it? I was standing there... With my hands behind my back, straight face, because I knew it was not me. Like we said in the last episode, it was not me. It wasn't us. I was in the clear. Marcus told me he was standing there nervous. I'm like, I wasn't because I knew it wasn't me. I knew it wasn't me. Like, I knew I didn't say anything. Like, I personally like Proving Ground because I have always been a reality show fan. Dude, I saw firsthand how fucking stressful that shit was. Oh, yeah, man. tell me about it. Tell me about oh, it. Oh, my God. Because I was in the bottom, too. Oh, my Lord. I wasn't even fucking a part of this shit, but just watching it, I was, like, stressed the fuck out. So, it's uh, fucking Gator Kai, uh, fucking 4 Young, uh, the Lost KJs, uh, and fucking... The Lost Forearms. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> and fuck, I forgot the name of the other team. God damn it. Uh, Three's Company. Three's Company, Aaron Orion and Marcus, 
and uh, Aaron, Orion, Aaron Orion, Orion and Jimmy you know and, the thing in the my bed, and Dre and Marcus. Yeah. And I'm Black like, all right, line. cool, whatever. So I'm watching it, and I, I had like an idea in my head of what was going to fucking go down. You can say it. It's okay. Oh, I was. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. I had an idea in my head on who was going to get, like, who I thought was getting eliminated. And fucking then, like, it re first up, scored the most points. <laughs> Gator Kai and I'm my jaw fucking dropped. I'm like, holy fucking shit, what? Like, and I love, like, I love LJ. I love that whole team. That, like, that team is entertaining I as fuck. But I did not think they were gonna be first place. Oh yeah, brother. That surprised say. the fuck out of me. Yeah, and from then, say, from then on, it was like, oh, I have no clue what to expect at this point. And then. I think very next name is called is Three's Company. Three's Company, which I was like for sure, no surprise there. They were my one of my picks to make it into the finals, and so they they go, they leave, whatever, and then here comes Dre Jacobs and Marcus getting called, and I'm like, oh, fuck yeah, all right, cool. Marcus is still fucking like in this shit. Let's go. I like Dre. Marcus is cool as fuck. I've teamed with that fucker since literally day one of my wrestling career. Mm. Shouts out Marcus. He is very good, even though like he's very underrated. And they go, whatever, cool. And now I'm sitting here and I'm like, oh shit. Okay. So we have KJ and TJ. We have Mark Ross and Zoe. And we have Aaron Ryan and Jimmy. And I'm like, okay. Well, like... I don't want to see you go home. Thank you. But at the same time, I don't want to see KJ go home. And I don't want to see Jimmy go home. So I'm like, great. These are three of my fucking friends just all on the bottom. And then Jimmy and Aaron's name gets called. And part of me is like, oh, cool. Okay, cool. I'm fucking happy. Let's go. But then I'm like, oh, fuck. If Zoe loses Proving Ground to TJ Meyer, <laughs> yo, like, that would be so crazy, Don't dog. <laughs> like, that would be so, that would be so fucking wild if you lost that shit to TJ. I would, that would be the first thing we would bring up on the podcast. Yeah, I'm not saying, so... Then your name gets called, and I'm happy as fuck. No, it didn't. No, it didn't. Their name got called as going home. Oh, yeah, because like, Johnny swerved the fuck out of me. But, yeah, their name gets called, and they're going home. And, like, I'm happy, and then I'm like, oh, fuck, KJ. And then KJ got on the second row. They cheered for him. And I missed this part. TJ, Larry, oh, my God, he... Fucking beat the shit out of him with that lariat. Holy fucking shit. That shit was so hard. Pause. <laughs> okay, now, what was your experience? So, my that? experience was when I went out against uh, Brutus and LJ, uh, from the second that we made our entrance, the crowd, it was so loud. So loud. I'm not trying to chew my horn, but the crowd was really loud. Jeremiah said that it was the biggest pop of the night when we made our entrance. It was. And we, like, I just felt really good. And then in the match, I, Mark Ross got beat. He took the heat. I was on the apron a lot. And while on the apron, all I heard was 4 0 Young Chance throughout the entire match. Throughout the whole match. And I'm just, and since I'm on the apron a lot, I'm looking at what's going on in the ring. And I was just confident. Then I got the hot tag. I went off. And, like, our match ended. And I was really, really confident. Like, really confident. And at the end, like, Brutus, OJ was like, oh, yeah, y'all are good. I think we're good. Stuff like that. I go out there, give my phone to Summer. Shouts out to you. For her to record the little the elimination and I walk out with a smile on my face my glasses on like I'm confident going out there and then I heard the first name was LJ and Brutus who were my opponents not saying anything bad about them I'm just saying they were my opponents so I was like what the fuck <laughs> what 
I was like confused and Forever Young jumped out of my body. <laughs> Lorenzo was not there anymore. I, if you watch the video, you can see I was done. I was gone after their names got said. And then they were getting out the ring and I just yelled at Johnny, Johnny Delicious. I said, did you read it backwards? Did you mean that they're going home? And, you know, then I'm in the ring stressed out and then threes come. I didn't really hear all the rest of the names. I only know this because of watching it back. But I do remember being stressed out in the ring, walking back and forth, thinking, what the hell did I do? What are they looking for? I don't know what these judges are looking for. We just did this whole match. And I'm not, I hear these names keep getting called. And then I look up and I hear Brut or Johnny Delicious say, only two more teams are safe. And I look to my left or right, I don't remember which, and I just see KJ sitting down. I'm like, oh my gosh. Is we haven't got called yet? And we just lock eyes. You can see it in the video. And Johnny Delicious says Aaron O'Ryan and Jimmy Gray. And I was like, fuck. Holy shit. <laughs> One of us are going home. And last show, last show, the first, well, I guess it's the second episode, me and KJ and Kyler and Bruce were up. And I remember me and KJ in the locker room was like, oh, shit, all of us are up. And KJ's like, yup. And I'm like, I grab his shoulders. I'm like, we just got to hope and pray that LJ and Brutus leave. <laughs> <laughs> and it was only us four up and KJ got first and I got second and we were just waiting on Kyler to come to the back and they did <laughs> so he got out and then it's like fuck it's down to us and I just heard him or Johnny Delicious say that they were gone going home and we just hugged definitely the most emotional moment of my entire career winning the pro wrestling locker room television championship as a surprise was the biggest emotional moment of my career but this one took it i was just shocked and i don't know if i can say this or not but apparently when i yelled at johnny delicious that brought me down <laughs> johnny said that we weren't actually last but since i yelled at him he held us till last <laughs> So I, I do know where we stood at the end it took me a long time like to the end to tear down to figure it out but yeah Speaking of emotional moments, uh, Chase versus Big Murph happened on Facebook. Holy fucking shit. It's so <laughs> <laughs> out of the blue, by out the way. The so Murph was just tired of being left off killing the business. Yeah, he so he, he, decided, he made it two episodes or so without being so mentioned. So he decided, let me go back to the old Murph. <laughs> let the me, big man is back. Let me publicly be a dick. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we're not gonna talk about some other stuff that happened to Murph. You know, that would be a slap in the face to people if I brought some stuff up about Murph. But what? Keep it on. <laughs> what? Keep it on. Anyway, Keep so it on. I'm good. So Chase says something. I don't even remember exactly what happened. But basically, uh, Chase says something on Facebook, and Murph comments like, "Who the, <laughs> Who the fuck, fuck are, are you? you?" And I'm like, "You just use his bit against him." <laughs> How are you going to use Chase's bit, his running joke, on Murph, him? Murph starting out strong, on the offensive. Good start. And, like, uh, I think Murph, or Chase, like, said something back that was really light. I was really surprised, to be honest, because I know Chase. So who would you say won that exchange? <laughs> Brother. <laughs> Keep going. I don't fucking know. Like, uh, Chase didn't really say anything, so I guess Murph, well, then Bubba comments it. It was like, you should say this about Uncle Chase. <laughs> well, you should that's say that. Fair. Say you, you don't know who the fuck someone is. It's very rude. <laughs> to be fair, I thought it was funny. Uncle Chase has been on GCW. I thought it was pretty funny. <laughs> it was pretty Chase funny. Chase don't though. give a fuck. <laughs> it was pretty funny. Yeah, it was funny. <laughs> it was funny as shit. Yeah. <laughs> I guess he wanted to win that award that we give out. but uh, we'll I wouldn't that. mind seeing Uncle Chase versus Big Murph. Oh, God. That has to be booked now. That has to. I mean... You know what? We should we should do a show, and that should be our main event. I mean, people don't take advantage of What do you matches. think Big Murph's rate is? <laughs> He's probably expensive, brother. <laughs> you, think, you think it's over or under a thousand? Oh, brother. Better be under. <laughs> a thousand? You wouldn't pay a thousand dollars for a Big Murph match? No. 
Damn. <laughs> what? I love Merv. <laughs> I love it's not Merv. many people who I would pay a thousand dollars for. <laughs> it's not That's many. Fair. That's um, fair. But anyway, speaking How of, many tickets do you think that would sell? I was just a, it's funny that you say that. Because our buddy and big fan of the show of the podcast, Steven <laughs> Rivera. FIO. He decides to comment on just about every single Facebook post that anyone puts out and asks what do we think, how many tickets do we think this match will sell? <laughs> Which, cold as fuck, cold, by the way. Cold, Steve. And, <laughs> but he commented on everything, so many, every single thing. How many tickets will it sell? <laughs> but will it, this is a good match, but will it sell tickets? <laughs> Like, I don't know, Steve. Like he, he put it on his story, like, how many tickets do you think you'd sell? I slid up. Well, I answered. <laughs> I slid you up. answered the f- Yeah, I slid up. I said four. <laughs> I think I can sell four tickets. Yeah. We've sold four tickets with our match. There you before. go. I think I can sell four tickets. I I, I, I think I, I can sell a solid three. Oh, maybe yeah. maybe four. Yeah, maybe Not a good four. Day. <laughs> if you can't sell four tickets, then maybe Steve Rivera's right. <laughs> maybe you shouldn't be booked. Oh well, shit, man! We were on Pro Wrestling All Stars for a long time, and that didn't draw shit. <laughs> you can't say that. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Am I wrong? Fuck. That's when Steve stopped caring. All right. Yeah. Well, look, it, I'm not wrong. <laughs> anyway, Steve watches the show. I'm not saying anything against Steve. <laughs> I'm just saying. Well, technically, Steve said that that's why he does it right. Because he says these people aren't drawing. Okay, He's so, not selling tickets. Well, damn. I guess we're not draws. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, you know what that's fair. That's pretty fair. I'll give that. He says that the, the, the market's oversaturated. Which we, that's not we, wrong. Other people have said that too. Yeah. We just got a new uh, promotion, actually. Combat One. Shouts out to him. What's yeah. your Chris Bay seminar? Yeah. Please, Brookus, please. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of controversial, someone else who's been on the show almost every single episode, oh, big fan of the God. show, Mr. Matt Breedy. He does exist, Chase. He does exist. He does. He's been on this show almost I've every had time. I've matches with him. He's been on the show almost every, almost 11 out of 11 times. Really? Almost. He, he is, you know, if there was a list of the most controversial people in Michigan on Facebook, he might be number one. We should do a list like that at the end of the year. He, Yeah, we should. I By the way, actually, this brings up a good point. We'll get back to that in uh-huh. a second. But comment down below what awards we should do. Do you want a Jack Price Biggest Dick of the Year award, possibly, <laughs> question mark? Because we could do that also. But comment down awards that you would want to see at the end of the year. We do still have the Jack Price Biggest Dick of the Week award coming up. We do. How much time? What are, what is our We're time at 28, so we gotta oh. get it in gear, brother. Yeah, yeah, we do. Start the comeback. <laughs> so, uh, Matt Breedy, uh, he, he made a post about Jody, the fan. He said that he, he called him out for flirting with a girl. I don't know what was so wrong with that. But anyway, moving on. <laughs> uh, yeah. But yeah, Athena versus Jody threat happened, and a bunch of people on Twitter thought that it was Athena a shoot. was... A shoot. Did it yeah, come out to be a shoot or no? I, I didn't think it was. Me neither. I don't really, I don't know Athena though, but I just don't see her as that type of person, but whatever. Yeah, I, I, feel, I, don't like, know her, though. I feel like good wrestlers can like make you think it's not a work. Yeah. So, I don't know. I like Jody Threat. Yeah, I like Athena and Jody Threat. They're both good. Yeah. But would you say that match is a banger? I didn't see it. Oh, well, I almost saw the clips. Well, you know, fuck your answer because my segue is speaking of bangers. So, like, I've, I'm seeing. Oh, my bad. <laughs> yeah, you just didn't sell for my fucking segue. All right, well, we're back. Are uh, we not? Are we blurred or no? Um, we're clear. Yeah, we're clear. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. Well, speaking of bangers, I've been seeing more and more posts recently about people hating the word bangers when referring to a match. And I know I'm someone who says that term relatively often when I think of a really good match. And I know that you're someone who also says that when they think of a really good match. So what do you think about calling your matches bangers? Because I I don't think there's an issue with it. Like, why would you hate that someone said a match is good? Well, I wouldn't call my own match a banger. I have it. 
Oh, I've, I haven't had any bangers yet. Okay, okay. I've had people carry me through matches. <laughs> I'm at that. Yeah. Most of my matches yeah. have been that. Any match with Adam Wick is <laughs> fucking, he put me on his back and carried me there. He knows how to work? Yeah, believe it or not. <laughs> yeah, he actually does. Hey, uh, killing a bit. Speaking of Adam Wick, killing a yeah. business debuted. <laughs> is an official group. Yeah. What the fuck? We didn't even talk about what that. What the fuck? Like, yeah. it's it, not only is it a podcast. It's not just the two of us anymore. It is now us, Dean Hendricks, Jason DeMilo, and Adam Fucking Wick. That's right. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? Not not me. Uh, but going back to what you said about those posts and about bangers and stuff, I think that sometimes, like in life. In wrestling, just like in life, it will be a better place if everyone just mind their own business. That would definitely be true. Yeah, a hundred percent. Like some, like some people, like like they just think that they're so much better than everybody else when they're clearly not. Yep. Like I see, like some wrestlers like post these statuses where they're critiquing people. How the how the fuck you go critique somebody who's already on TV? Yeah, actually, yeah. You know what? What? Fair point. How the fuck? <laughs> what are you critiquing them on? They're already on TV, and you're not. I will. I I have been one to say that I don't like a wrestler. It blows my before. mind. Well, do you critique them and say that? I don't. I don't critique <laughs> them. I don't. I, oh well, that body slam wasn't even in the if you do I don't it. Do that. Even if you do it in person, do you got to put it on your social media and say all this stuff and critique every mm, single thing? Not publicly, no. Yeah, I just. I, it blows my mind how some people just just don't know how to mind their business. Huh. It, it blows my mind. I'm sorry. Yeah. Speaking of blowing minds. Yeah, speaking of blowing minds, literally. literally. We, we never, we, you know what, credit to this dude because we never thought it would happen. Yeah, the return, the Michigan grand return of the spot. Uh, no, other one. <laughs> You're not so about the spider? No, well. We were he gonna, did return. Well, that was going to main event the show, brother. He's the draw. Blah. <laughs> love you, love you, the spider. But course, now I'm talking course. about the return of the one, the base only <laughs> base guy just in time he's, in the building. He's, he's back. He's everywhere. Yeah, he is everywhere. Yeah, he, he's he's at more show. He's at the House of Truth more than me. <laughs> he's at more shows than some of the great guys who yeah. just graduated. Yeah, he is literally everywhere. Every he's at shows before me sometimes. He's at the House of Truth. I was at the House of Truth yesterday. He was there before me. Yeah, like I, honestly, you know what? Like I feel like some people be spectacle, but or, yeah, I think I pronounced that right. But or, skeptical, skeptical, <laughs> skeptical, skeptical. You shut the fuck up. Skeptical. I don't know what about like about his return, but honestly, like if he wants to be here and he's willing to put in the work and he's willing to right his wrongs, then fuck it, why not? Where the fuck was this energy last week? The week okay. before that? Well, nah, not because week, like last episode. Nah, because like I remember at we, I was at a show and he was at a show and I remember like actually talking to him. NWCW. Yeah, and it where was he like, almost got his ass beat because he went out with Soul Taker. He had his return match, and apparently he was cussing a lot in the ring. Oh, he was. Yeah, and uh, another vet almost went out and beat his ass. Oh no, that was Soul Taker did that, not Justin. No, I thought it was Soul Taker too, but apparently it wasn't. Apparently it was, which it, you know I should have known. Actually, I yeah. should have known in the moment because in the moment I thought it was Soul Taker too. But why the fuck would Soul Taker go out and cuss it so it as Soul Taker I, and in the ring at his own show? <laughs> I you know what I didn't put that together yeah, actually, but I, I found out I may have to else. redact that statement. I'm sorry, I don't mean to change your. Uh, well, no, nah, like I don't know if he's if he's willing to come back and put in the work and like. Be cool again. He was cool to me. Yeah, for real. Like he was my friend. Like I had a lot of matches with him in the beginning. Yeah, like me and J Justin were cool as shit. And like I talked to him at NWCW, and like that was the first conversation we had where it was just like a fucking year ago. Oh, that's so nice that your opinion has changed on him. I'm so happy. Uh, but anyway, uh, I would like to see him versus James Fury. Oh, my God. In a promo off. Oh, my God. <laughs> Have you guys seen James Fury promos? They're awesome. Yo, James Fury is is God. James Fury is... I love it. I love everything about it. Like, I went from, I went from not being sure about it to, like, all right, this is the baddest motherfucker on the planet. He is, but how many tickets will he sell? Fucking, I don't know. <laughs> 
Probably more than us. He sold two already. <laughs> yeah, he definitely did. But uh, how much would you pay for him? No. Because that's a big question from James Fury. <laughs> he has asked multiple promoters. The hottest free agent <laughs> in, he has had in Michigan indie wrestling. A total of three matches, and as he is very pricey, is what I'm hearing from well, other promoters. To be fair, said, oh, you're okay. getting a very edited promo. <laughs> Like, he is putting effort into this shit. I'm not going to fucking fault him. Yeah, Like, maybe. I suck ass at promos. I just get in front of a camera and fucking talk like we're doing now. Same. And, but he actually, like, he edits the shit out of him. He very much knows what his character is. I have no fucking idea what it is. But he knows what it is. And, you know... He has, like, fire coming out of his All right, all right. That's enough of putting him over. Speaking of putting him over, let's... It's time to put somebody over, brother. You know, we're going to skip that other one. Oh, we're going to skip that other one? Yeah, because we're at that time. Put somebody over. Well, actually, that was my put him over thing, actually. Can I just cop out and say that? Fuck no. That well, was, I, gotta no. Put, I gotta actually put somebody over? Yes, bro. You better start getting prepared for this segment. Fuck. Bro, I'm always prepared for this segment 100% of the time. Okay, Max. <laughs> I, but I think you should sponsored go. by the Lethal Lucha TV, <laughs> and because I'm saying the sponsorship, that means you have to go first. Okay. Lethal Lucha TV Fine. on YouTube, they're beautiful. Go to all their links in their websites. We love them. Now you go. Okay, this week I would like to put over probably my favorite person that I've put over out of all. I think I've put somebody over twice, so. Nine people I put over. Well, maybe, we redacted those. Maybe eight people I put over. <clears throat> I put over Jack Price twice and Alex Weir twice. So oh, eight people mind. I put over. Today I am putting over my very best friend in wrestling, my tag team partner. Oh, well, it's not me. <laughs> Shut the <laughs> fuck up. God damn it. I'm gonna ruin your whole fucking bit right there. You fucker. My very best friend in wrestling, my tag team partner, Dean Hendricks. My guy. I, like, ever since I had such a... Well, he's been my friend since we started wrestling school in the same class, which is crazy to think about because neither one of us graduated that class. I think he left in week five and I left in week eight, but we didn't even talk in that class at all. Then I went on to graduate a different class, and he went on to graduate the class after that. And, like, then we just became best friends. We talk every single day. And when I was having the roughest time in August, September, October, he was there every single step of the way. And every single time I talked to him, I just, I feel great. And I, I talked to his, uh, his, his best friend, his long-time best friend. I met him. And he already knew everything about me. He's like, Dean told me so much about oh, you. Dude, that dude's I, cool. I shit. know your finisher. I watched Kill the Business podcast. Oh wait, <laughs> <laughs> damn. So people who don't like watch wrestling watch us. Yeah, That's crazy. So, Maybe so. Dean's out there damn. putting me over to his other friends. So I have to put him over in public right here. Yeah, yeah. get you a friend like Dean. Henry. Get you a friend like Dean. I, I could go on and on and on and say a whole bunch more about you, Dean. But I'm going to stop right here. But I'm putting over my best friend, Dean Hendricks. Now it is up to me, and I am not putting over just one person. Ah! Yeah, you only yeah. can put over one oh, person. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> you what? only can do one person. That's bullshit. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Whatever, I guess. Yeah, yeah, thank you. I'd like to put over two people okay. who like genuinely make me like they bring out the best in me every single time I'm in the ring with them they fucking make me give 110 goddamn percent every single time and they bring me out of my comfort zone and it's always really 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 fucking fun wrestling them but I like to put over KJ Reynolds you fucker and Ryan Mathias shouts out to you guys especially you Ryan fuck fuck KJ for a second cause he stole my belt but Ryan's cool as shit. Like, I talk to both of them. Not almost every day, but I talk to them fucking often enough. Like, those two are really fucking cool. And I genuinely don't think I would be in the same spot wrestling-wise without them. So, yeah. I'd like to put over KJ Reynolds and Ryan Mathias. Congratulations. Dina Hendricks, uh, been put over twice now. 
Yeah, and but Ryan when I did Kendrick. it for some reason, it was bullshit. Who said that? You. No, the fuck I did it. You're like, oh, you're never prepared for this segment. You are. You're, That's I the truth. am always prepared That's for this truth. segment. I j I work the crowd, brother. <laughs> Jesus, you You're don't know what work bullshit. is. Anyway, enough of that crap. It's time to move on to something much more important. It's time for oh, the Jack it? Price biggest <laughs> thing of the week. Yay! So, uh, all right, as discussed in the back. Yeah. Um, you were supposed to talk about some guy at the beginning of this, and you didn't. Oh, uh, yeah, um... Some guy commented on our last video. Yeah, some, some guy commented on our, on our shit. He got into an argument with Adam, actually. Oh. Uh, you might know him, uh, Great Noken. Yeah, you used to like him a lot, I remember. Yeah, man, I used to be friends with the dude, actually, you know, before he fucking started talking shit behind my back to my girlfriend, you fucking idiot. But, like, you know, I used to like him. I used to think he was cool. I liked the great Noken gimmick, you know? Like, I thought it was cool. He would paint his face up and wear his black tights and fucking come out with, like, a lamp that had smoke on it. Like, fucking, Bray like, Bray Wyatt. Wyatt, yeah. And I thought it was cool. And then, uh... Me and Heather start talking, and then he starts asking her weird questions, and I'm like, all right, well, that's whatever. And he starts, like, not talking shit about me directly, but very indirectly talking shit. And it fucking all got to a head when I literally got a screenshot of him talking shit about one of me and Heather's Instagram pictures. You can post that on the screen right now. I will send that to you okay. so that you have it. But yeah, so that happened and whatever. Like, I wasn't going to give him a mention because he, he very obviously wants a fucking mention on the podcast. And fucking, Unfortunately, we have to do Yeah, it. unfortunately, we have to because we have this fucking award. I kind of don't want to give it to him. I mean, this mention isn't going to get you booked anywhere, bro. So well, he watches the podcast apparently. Yeah, clearly he commented. Yeah, and said he was going to give it a dis. Yeah, dislike. Would you, <laughs> you fucking corny motherfucker, dude? Like, come on, I'm going to leave a dislike. Look at me, and then leave a the flex emoji. We get it. You've been to Planet Fitness. We fucking got it. All right, Jesus Christ. Like fucking, I just don't. I just don't think he really knows who he is as a wrestler. Like, well, he's been doing it for like 15 years. Yeah, years. and where has he been? <laughs> Brother. Okay, okay, thank you. And that's just not, that's not just me saying this. Like, this is a lot of people saying this about you, dog. And like, fucking, just stop being stupid, alright? Stop being a dick. Because we're not going to give you the award, because that's what you fucking want. Yeah. Can so. Get, just give it to Alex Weir again, fuck. Oh. Yeah. Okay. I say we give it to Alex Weir. You want to give it to Alex Weir? Yeah. Congratulations, yeah, Alex, Alex Weir! Weir. Yeah. Yeah. The Jack Price Biggest yeah. Dick of the Week Award. For the second time. Two episodes in a row. And by the way... We don't really have a problem with you this time. You just kind of caught a stray. Sorry. I, I don't know if you know this, but I did text the rookie that you know got called out in the Proving Ground meeting mm -hmm. to ask that person if we could just make him the Biggest Dick of the Week. Because... We could just give it to him. Because I... I I, I feel bad. I do. Like, you know, I gave it to Kyler. I tried to give it to Kyler last week, but I knew Kyler wasn't going to get upset. But this person, I feel like they might get upset if I gave them this award. That's and I wasn't trying to be in no drama. So That's I did fair. message them, but I don't know. I don't think they replied back. I was just check again. That's fair. Yeah, they didn't even open it. So I can't, I can't give them the award. Okay. So, yeah. Alex Weir, congratulations. Congratulations. And fucking Colin... Yeah, uh, Adam says you're a bitch, too. <laughs> All right, with that being said, this has been Killing the Business. I'm finally doing the fucking outro. We will see you beautiful fuckers later. Thank you for watching. Love you.